Ready? Take two. <laughs> or is it take one? Yeah. Take one and one point five. One point five. <laughs> yeah, we should just take a second and talk about that awesome shirt. <laughs> do you not do you not like this shirt? This is, I know. This is what is up with that? The gnome packing out a unicorn. Got it from meateater.com. Meat meateater.com. Steven Ranella representing. <laughs> it's hard to beat that. It is. So here we are. Welcome at Archery Idaho. I'm Patrick. This is Brian. And we're here to talk to you today about the Ultra TRI rest by QAD. It's their target rest. So we just got this in and it is going to be oh, let me get to that. it is going to be the new big thing from QAD. Brian, go ahead and start talking to him about what we got. So inside, first thing we're going to see is this little thing talking about some instructions that are going to come in handy for just how everything works on this cool rest. So they did a good job on helping explain that. Um, it's going to be a spring steel style of rest uh, with really crisp clean micro adjust also ability to torque tune uh, with moving that rest back and forward with that with all micro adjust really crisp and clean um, on there also really good um, integrated rest style just like what we were seeing on their uh, hunting bows now it's going to be on their target bow as well so most super solid and you know that's not going to go anywhere so that's the big thing in your case there is the rest after that what we get is some replacements um, and some different uh, stiffnesses of spring steel. So these are proprietary to this, a new design to make sure that it stays put where you want it to be. Uh, then they're gonna come in different thicknesses and some widths uh, uh, on there. Also gonna get, of course, mounting hardware, a um, little QAD knife in there, really neat with that. A little Allen wrench to help make some adjustments. And then this is another cool thing is this little plastic piece will actually uh, just go on to the rest to help protect that. So no more broken blades while you're yeah, traveling, which is just traveling, really neat. Sure. <laughs> it took, it took them a long time. I mean, we were at the NABA show and they said that they had it coming and I kind of forgot about it. And then when Matthews released their new target bows and there was a rest in there, I was like, oh, buddy. And I think that, I mean, they, they definitely nailed it. The construction, of course, you know, QAD does not, you know, they don't, they don't go cheap on anything they do. And with all the micro adjust for your target archer, we're all tinkers when it comes to that. I mean, you can literally tinker all you want. This piece here is unique because you can actually buy a second one of these. And when you set the distance of where you're going to, you're going to mount your rest, then that will run into the, uh, the riser in that right point every time so you can have different setups and do them just the way you want. But I mean, they, in my opinion, they nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. Your adjustment is tr just tremendous. And all of us, I mean, I know I'm a, I'm a tinker with my target equipment. And then they did a really good job. You know, most of these companies, you get directions, they did the nice cards. So if you're gonna do your vertical adjustment, this, like I was talking, this is the easy swap, so you can have two different setups on the same bow. They go over all the pieces and everything, which, you know, a lot of us don't know. You, now you know, mm -hmm. which is good. And then your torque tune adjustment. So, like I said, they, they, to they absolutely nailed it. And one thing I really like, and I don't know if you can, can see with the camera, but it high, high vis on all their adjustments. So when you set it, if you made a little Sharpie mark, you're definitely there or remember it, but then like your pitch degrees and all that's on there. So a guy could write it down, like if somebody wanted to set up, you could write all that down, have it on a, on a cue card, put it right in your case and know what your setup is. But I, once again, I mean, it's been a long time coming and now it's here and I have a feeling it's gonna be very, very popular. So pretty much the next thing that we can do and talk about in either this video or another is how to put it on yeah, the we boat. Will, we will do a video. So. We'll mount it on the new 38 or 34 so you guys can see it. And we'll go up and shoot it. Because that is one thing. You will need one of the new target bows because of that integral rest yeah. on that. So you will need a new target bow from Matthews to make sure for this rest to mount. So. Yep, 100%. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time.
view, watch, do all that good stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much.